Hey there, it's Marvin from Reamaze. For today's video, I want to show you guys how to set up autoresponders in your Reamaze account. What you're looking at now is the Reamaze demo account. And uh, just before we get started, I wanted to make sure that you guys know that autoresponders are actually only available for email channels. So you won't be able to set them up for your social media channels such as Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram uh, quite the same way. Uh, but to get started, let's talk about email channels first. So on the left hand side, you want to click on the settings icon. So go ahead and click on that. And because it's an email channel, we want to look for the channels section under account settings. So let's click on that one. And as you can see here, we have three email channels here. And uh, from the menu, we can see that autoresponders for the 24 seven support channel is turned on right now. And for support dash reamaze two, autoresponders are actually turned off. So what we want to do is click on manage settings, scroll down until you see autoresponder settings. Just go ahead and give that checkbox a click. Um, you can also restrict time range for when you want the autoresponders to fire. So let's say I want it to fire for between 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. in the morning. So scroll down to 7 a.m. Okay. And if you want 24 hour weekend coverage, you can click on that as well. Now, all you have to do is compose your autoresponder message. So this one also actually supports name variables. So you can do customer.name, um, do close brackets, and do hi. Do, thanks for your message. We will get back to you, uh, to you soon. Okay. All right. And then all you want to do is click on update. Now to give this autoresponder a try, you'll want to shoot your support email address, uh, a test email from an account that's not already associated with your Reamaze account. So let's say for your Reamaze account, you're using uh, james at uh, acmecompany.com. Okay, you don't wanna use that to test the autoresponder. Make sure you're using an email address that's not already associated with your Reamaze account. Okay, so otherwise the autoresponder won't fire because it knows that you're trying to talk to yourself. So let's talk about some other non-traditional ways for setting up autoresponders. Um, to do that, you'll want to go to workflows. So there is a way to set up uh, autoresponders for your other channels as well. So you want to click on create workflow and just make sure you want to click on trigger. And you know when the message channel is, let's say, your Facebook channel, okay? So, or your Twitter channel. This was this one is already here. So we'll click on Twitter channel. So as soon as a, a message comes in from the Twitter channel, um, then you can actually automate the system to do certain things. So under commands, you'll want to hit on or click on respond to conversation, and then you can type a message here. Thanks. We will back to you ASAP okay now it's not always the best idea to auto reply to Twitter conversations or Facebook conversation uh, but if you have you know a, a support structure that's already set up that way in a community that responds well to this sort of workflow then it's perfectly fine to, to do it this way uh, otherwise for email channels we highly recommend just setting up auto responders within the email channels as, as you can see, this autoresponder is now turned on. Okay, and uh, that's it for autoresponders. Let us know if you have any questions at support at reamaze.com. Thanks.